and welcome back to our coverage of the 2020 Bunnings New Zealand Secondary Schools Touch Championships. Coming up next we have Waitara High going up against Fakatane High in our mixed grade. My name's Kimo Holtham, I'll be commentating and sitting here with me. I've brought back the beautiful, courageous, talented Grant Robinson. Uh, you've been in and around the competition today. How, how have you find the atmosphere out here in uh, Rotorua? Uh, the atmosphere is awesome, actually, right around the grounds. Um, we're seeing so much positivity around from all of the teams. Um, I think, you know, the great part about this is day one is a little bit of finding finding your feet with the teams, obviously the nerves and things. Day two, I think teams are really settled in. Um, they've been um, put into their sort of gradings now for day two and leading, leading towards um, their finishing spots for day three. So... They're down to business now, um, day two, but you know, with that comes the expectations and the and the learnings from the coaches from day one. And they're um, yeah, these teams are are growing every single game better and better. So yeah, it's looking awesome out there. Yeah, looking at the screen now, you'll see our schedule for today. Pairua drew against McLean's. You had Auckland Grammar get up against Hatopaura, and Burnside they went up over Tauranga Girls. We have Waitara Fakatani High. Next up, we have Hamilton Boys. Going up against Whangarei Boys High, that'll be a good game. And then last game of the day will be in our girls, girls section. And that'll be Rickerton High School going up against Marlborough Girls College. Now looking up at our names, uh, Waitara High, we have Shania Elliott at number one. Portia Huffman at number two. An array of players coming up through the grades. Coaching staff is Mark Cooper. Uh, looking at our Fakatane High name. Uh, some names I recognize. Number six, we've got Shea Shadrock. Timothy Marshall at number seven. Uh, we've also got Marshall in the coaching staff. And we know Marshall, very famous name when coming out of Whakatane with the likes of Benji Marshall and his younger brother also playing uh, in the NRL. So hopefully we'll see a bit of excitement with the steps that we have coming out of a lot of these young players. Because I know traditionally coming out of Whakatane, they know how to use their feet, those kinds of players. So here we have, we start off Waitara with ball in hand. Some goal, good ball usage to start off the match. They've got a mismatch on the female link out on this left side, Waitara do. No doubt they'll be looking to utilize that. They yeah. get their female dropper. We have a scoop here. They're going to go open side though. Does he find the gap? No, he doesn't. Well defended by Fakatani High. Yeah, nice little set to start and, and great to see um, using the, one of the girls in the middle there just a set platform to see how the defensive structures are um, and a good setup looking to get a nice uh, platform to get themselves underway so they'll be fa fairly happy one thing they will have seen is just put a seeing what that defensive structure is uh, from the from the t defensive team and uh, hopefully that'll settle them in and they'll be able to, to bring about some attacking opportunities as they come in and defend their line now for the first set little play on the link S goes open side space to the winger but the ball doesn't quite go to hand and goes out over the sideline but again good start getting right down length of the field Kimo and that's what uh, they'll be comfortable with at this stage yeah it was beautiful pass by Brimsey Marshall just a bit high and a bit long but it's good to know he's got a nice little left to right and I no doubt you can hear that coming in over the mic. The wind has just picked up a bit out here. So if you're going to be throwing long balls, they're going to have to be hard and they're going to have to be fast to cut into this wind. Waitara now on the go forward with some very good yardies. Fakatani being caught offside here. So they were able to gain an extra few meters. Got a good roll on here. Waitara, they got players open on their left. Mismatch on that side. No, realizing that they were on their last touch though. Yeah, unfortunately, they didn't quite hear that call from the referee saying fifth and final. They thought they had the overlap, um, but missed out there. Fakatane, good yards through their box, getting their subbers on now, looking to set up off the back end of this set. Just getting, stretching the ball. Good yardage work there in there in the links, back into the middles for the setup right on that seven metre line. Opens, picks, steps short side, releases to the winger. Great option again. Fortunately, ball just doesn't go through the winger's hands, but uh, looking positive signs in there, isn't it? Yeah, it was definitely for Fakatani. That was a very good setup. It was exactly what he wanted. They had Waitara on the back foot, pumping backwards, 
j he just did enough just to be able to step outside his player and he had an easy little pass out on the outside but couldn't stick it again execution whether it be passer or catcher something they'll definitely be wanting to to work on during the rest of this match but some good d being put up here by fakatani managing to catch white Tata without any dummy halves on the ball again that's two touches there within the vicinity of two meters yeah fifth and final touch here for Waitara. just got caught up a little bit there um sub and pattern for them it looks like they released their players pretty early in the piece and they look to just have three players trying to trying to box it up and Fakatane, great recognition to see that and put pressure on and that caught them there which gives them now their attacking set well within the well within the red zone Ooh, i thought Fakatane got away with one there i thought it might have been called for a touch and pass Fakatane now they have a mismatch on this left side with a male link on a female link Can they capitalize? No, they can't. Very well defended by this Waitara side. It's actually looking like Waitara are playing four girls, two boys at the moment. A tactic I've seen over the past couple of mixed games. It's new for me. Yeah, not sure if there was a, a mix-up in the subbing or perhaps it was something that they'd identified and looking at. And now they've got a scoop straight through the middle. Beautiful Great scoop. wheels by the white side of middle here. Looking to link up with the winger. Fakatane defender did amazing work there. He was chasing his scooper and then realised this player doesn't need to be chased after because he is dummy half, he can't score. He saw there was only one Waitara player there able to score a try, so he just followed that player. But Waitara doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Grant, don't laugh. Waitara doesn't matter anyway because they end up turning it into points. Beautiful little play here. This is the scoop. And watch this Fakatani defender go off his dummy half and just makes the touch there. Great work by Waitara. Easy little cook and pass. Here he tries to flick the ball out, chucks it at his player. First there was a bit of a pat on the back, like, great pass to me, my friend. First Falcon of the day, I think, that we've seen. <laughs> but, um, Won't be the last, I'll tell you that You'd be much. pretty happy. You won't even feel that one exactly. when you got it down for that try. So. But Fakatane, that was Cole Scott, number 13. That desperate effort on the goal line to stop that attack. Um, great vision from him in that as they now move forward into getting down in their attacking zone it's Whakatane high looking to set up for a sweet play coming around room on that open side he comes through still wants to release to the winger play on is called and the winger for Whakatane high Shay Shadrock gets to dot down in the corner interesting he let that one release because he was actually a live player wasn't he he was a live player I don't know if he would have realised that Checks the ball out. Beautiful work there. This great setup play. Brimsey Marshall again. Obviously keen to get Shea Shadrock's numbers up. Scoring tries for top try scorer for their team. Perhaps. There we go. See, I was always the opposite at school level. I was always trying to make players not score tries. Trying to set them up for the undie run at the end of the tournament. Good to see that a lot more sportsmanship happening this day and age. Aye, my friend. Aye. White are now just picking up the pace, but they have numbers on this right side. Beautiful dive. Great dummy and dive. It was. Hannah Lee showing a great set of platform. And this is, again, in the middle. She's, uh, it wasn't just a tap-off play. She's looking very comfortable in the middle she there is. once again for Waitara. Just sets a, a kill, kill play over on the far corner to make Fakatane have to work all the way over to their box. But if we just see this on the replay, Quickie gets it back. Big dummy there, takes that dive and just last minute defense by Fakatane High. That's great skill set. It's a beautiful skill set. I see why they'd be playing four girls and two boys when you've got a female who can play like that, utilize it. And Waitara now have ball in great field position here with the same set of six that they had on. Haven't subbed yet, but you can see them moving over towards their box now. Waitara unable to look after the ball though, giving away an easy opportunity. So Fakatane now can look to make up for the mistake they made earlier on, giving away their ball, and they make some good yardage upfield. Yeah, looking to capitalise on the, the as the Waitara team started to sub off well, during that little era um, and got great metres to come over halfway well early in the touch count. 
Now looking to just spread the field right through to the link channel, coming back through to the middle, releases out right on that 7 metre, looks to get a short side again, looking to prosper on that side. Fortunately, the ball doesn't go to hand, but that's definitely an area that they're looking to promote as their scoring opportunities, Kemo. Yeah, well, I think we can confidently say not many people can throw a good left-to-right pass, but I think he's clearly showed us Brimsey Marshall has a beautiful left-to-right. That's nice and strong, regardless of the conditions. Oh, and Waitara again with a mistake, giving Fakatane the opportunity to take back the lead with the score at one all. Fakatani need to compose themselves here. Let's get it. If, if they can get a good setup, they'll be very happy. No doubt they'll be looking for a waster. Oh, the waster isn't needed though, with just one little nice step here by the number one for Fakatani. Pity Scott manages to get around his lady to score that try. We've been talking about the mismatch in Link all weekend, and he manages to just take advantage of it there. Beautiful work by Fakatani. To take back the lead. Waitara now ball in hand. They'll be looking to get one back nice and early. I like this. Bringing it down the, bringing it down this right edge just to open up this Fakatani defense a bit. And they've done it perfectly. The holes are now gaping. Unable to turn it into points though. So Fakatani now. They'll be looking to get some good yardage outside of their half. Yeah, I like how they use the use the ball to get it right across to their far side. It's obviously their pattern they're looking to work on. Gets them close to the subox. Oh, unfortunately, referee just picks up a, a touch boot on the sideline, which will be a handover, but like that work, they use the ball to get right across the field and then bring in their subbers. Just right there, we see that foot on the line. Well picked up by the referee. Chris Baker on the far side there and gives Fakatane the, the ball... And we've got Petey Scott coming through the middle again, looking to dance through like he did in the last the last turn. Working through just in the 3-3 three, three middle channels, trying to draw that defense up from Waitara. Getting right down to that all-important 7-meter line. This looks like they're going to run a sweeper play and have Brimsey Marshall on the back door once again. Looking inside, releases out to the winger. Winger just drops that ball but certainly got great opportunities down on that side again and that's the thing I feel like every time he's stolen the ball there it's been the right option it's just coming back to execution again unable to lock ball into hand so Waitara again let off the hook there good pressure Fakatane pushing up here and once again just to try and disrupt that yardage play from Waitara getting through into the back end of this set Nice, strong yards coming through off this platform here. Into that middle, looking for a scoop off the end, but that was the sixth touch, so just missed an opportunity there. One too many. Fakatane get off that one, and just being asked to play the ball on the mark. So one of those new rulings again, Kimo, that we're seeing now is the referees will just let them know where the mark needs to be. If they do play it, they will just ask them to go back rather than a turnover, which it has been in the past. So I oh, like that one. I see. Yeah, because it's happened quite a bit. I can remember talking about it, saying that most refs usually just hand over after that. But it's good to know it's a new rule. I used to get pegged for it all the time. You know, when the adrenaline's running and you're pumped up, you just play the ball from anywhere and then you're having to give the ball away straight away. I was very bad for that. They've got a mismatch on this left side. They're going to call ball down. Very surprised by this call. No, but both refs, off. the ref on field and the touchy said, it's a great tandem teamwork there by our referees. And again, just the awareness to know that you've got the mismatch on this side. Uh, I see it was only, she only got one foot back. And touchy have to get both feet behind the line. So some good awareness there by Fakatani. They stretch their lead out to two. Score now, 3-1. Yep. Oh, Ooh. Era not, not quite ready there for the tap off, looking to spread, like you said, down that wing link channel to get them down. But turnover ball, Fakatane get on the attack again, ready to go. Probably were expecting to have their defensive structures in place, and then they get the turnover straight away. So just getting themselves down the field, little scoop on that short side, just to check that defense. 
And here we have Brimsey Marshall once again looking to looking to set up. Oh, oh ball down, just mis miscommunication there, I think. Gives them lets them off the hook and Waitara High looking to probably clear out with their subbers and just get some momentum down the field through this orange zone. Playing a just a twos here to get them moving forward. Subbers are now on. Really needed to see a lift in intensity through these last couple of yards before the final touch. As we come in, a little bit of footwork, space in the open, releases to the winger. Fifth and final. Not the ideal spot to go from, but we pick and scoop. Late cut, brings a three on two chance. Whoa. I believe knocked down from the Fakatane link, which will give him a repeat set. So, well done in the end. Nice late cut off that one. It Checked. was. I, I think I'm into this match too much. I haven't spoken in a while. All you've heard from me is, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. And that's because of how good that both teams are playing right now. You've got Brimsy Marshall making the touch. He gets back on side, does he? Yes, ref says yes. I like what he's doing here too. He's getting out nice and high. You can see him. S oh, Brimsy Marshall there did a bit of a switch so he can get into that link position. And Waitara with the mismatch out on the left side. They're not going to utilize it though. They're going to keep it mid-mid. Yeah, making it really having to make... Oh, he's yeah. saying it was touched Ooh. by the Fakatani player. I thought it was, but ref's going to say no. Yeah, one of those ones where the ref's call is that it, 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 it did hit the hand, but they weren't looking to actively play at the ball. I like the call yep. by the referee as well. 100%. Great eyes, great awareness by our referees. This whole weekend, it's been some real good officiating by our uh, refs. You've got to take your hat off to them. Because they play just as many games as all of our players. So it's a hard slog. I know I couldn't do it. No, that's right. We've got a huge number of referees here um, over this weekend and around the 100, 100 mark. So um, they are, you know, in this day in, day out, um, but working so well together in their teams for each game um, as we come into the half time there. So just a good shout out to this this uh, group and Chris Baker, Tamil Monk and Ethan Hendry having a very good game out there right now. They're having an amazing game and so are both of these teams. Though Fakatani is up three points to one, Waitara are very much in it at the moment. Just a couple of, if, a couple of unforced errors letting them down. If we have a look back at some of these try lights, um, we'll see Waitara with a beautiful first little touch here. Just a nice little uh, check on that little bounce. That was when the Falcon happened. But excitement, you feel no pain in those situations. And here you have our man uh, Brimsey Marshall with a nice little check on the outside. He could have scored to try himself. But like you said, he's trying to share the points out around his team. And here again, it was just a bit of a mismatch. Able to go on that inside and fake that. Then bounce on the outside and score in between that link and that wing. What do you think this Waitara coach will be talking to his team players about, uh, Grant? Um, I think it's, it's, as we said, there was a couple of little errors that have been in there. So other than that, you know, they're in a very, very good position. So just getting back to setting what their structures are in place, which is getting that go forward so that they do have more opportunities down in the goal line. And equally, you know, defensively, I think they are, they are working pretty well together as a unit. A um, couple of opportunities where Fakatane have looked to go to that far right side and created the options there. So just really working to get their middle defenders pointed up nice and high, which gives the, other, the rest of the team an opportunity to see when, whether they can release early to get out to their man on situations or having to shut nice and sharp as a whole unit. Some great insight there by Grant Robinson. Very, uh, thank you very much, bro. And again, I th I also think with Fakatane, I mean, they're playing very well. And you can see on attack, they're opening up the holes, just unable to execute as well. Dropping some balls, throwing away some easy tries. So even though the score's only 3-1, they should be feeling confident. All, all I feel like Fakatane need to do, well, their mindset will be just to get down to the seven. Once they're down there, they should be able to shift uh, this Waitara uh, defense around enough to be able to dot down if they can hold on to the ball. That's the huge question. So Fakatani at the moment up three points to one. They will start off the second half with ball in hand. So Waitara will be wanting to send out a strong defensive line.
We have our referees now sitting the field. Fakatani getting on a whole new set of six. It'll be good to know that both teams will be well rested. We have referees' hands in the air any second now. We'll get the game going. That's Huda. We've got a tap beginning for the second half. And I like what Fakatani are doing here, just stretching the field out. Opening up these holes, giving them some space out on that left edge. And they're going to keep it down this area again. And looking forward to seeing what they're trying to set up here. They go short side. Outside to the winger. Yeah. Couldn't turn it into points though. They have ample space out on the left side. Can they get the ball there? Yes, he sees the gap, finds the player. Oh, the winger coming and they just bunch themselves. Fakatane out on the left edge, which meant the Waitara defender was able to double off. Very good defense shown by both these teams. And again, the wind has just picked up a bit more. I'm starting to see some rain splatter on our front window, so it might be getting a little bit wet out there on the field. And we all know what touch balls get like when they get a bit of water on them. Yeah, that's right. So it'll be about ball security if this does start to set in. But um, oh, as we see, already the turnover seen through signs there. of it. Yep, but gives Fakatane another chance to get down in that attack. A little bit of slip there, and unfortunately, he did try to play the ball at the same time. So that will be a handover. Often, if you do happen to slip over, you want to hold on to that ball. It's very tough there. So just losing his footing there in the changeover, which gives. White out of the chance, but again, a forward pass is being picked up by the referee. Good eyes there. Gives Fakatane now the chance just to settle into their work, get down onto the goal line. Yeah, and, and the rain is now pouting down, and it's coming on a very harsh angle towards Fakatane's faces. That'll be the wind will be pushing up on them as well. So ball security, key now in this moment of the game, especially with how wet it's looking down here in Dotorua. Looks like they're setting up for a 32 on Brimsey Marshall. And he's got that long ball. He fires, loads it up, gets it out to his winger. Great hands. They managed to turn it, not able to turn it into points. I think that's Brimsey asking the ref, why not awarding the try? I'm thinking they, it might have been a forward pass. Yep. Can't, 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 be for sure, can't be sure though. I don't want to make things up. Yeah, didn't quite pick up on what that call was from the referee, but it does give Fakatane the penalty, which gives them another opportunity as they look to run in, run a 33 peel. Rimsey Marshall looks to slide in underneath. Touch was called. Great defense there by Waitara. Rimsey Marshall will look to set up. Right, sitting out in the link. A little quickie play between the two middles here. As we see... Just drawing the white hunter defence out. Dumps right on the seven. Rimsey Marshall scoops through again. Looks to release out to the winger. Great hands. And Fakatane reap the rewards on that one. And we get Shea Shadrock dotting down in that left-hand corner again for Fakatane High School. Yeah. A nice patience by Fakatane. Very nice patience. I mean, Brimsey would have thought that they had scored in that previous set, but they didn't. They could almost frustrate a lot of players. So it's good to see them keep a level head, able to do the exact same thing. Brimsey scooping through, throwing a nice long ball, which his uh, winger was able to catch. Obviously some very good words. Oh, but again, just that ball. It's ball. very slippery, especially once a little bit of, uh, of water gets on. And this field is very good, so the water will be sitting right on top of that grass. So every movement of the foot, or every time that ball touches the ground, it'll be coming up and it'll be quite, quite, uh, quite dewy. Good yardage, he's looking to just, like a train, plough his way through that line. Unable to do so though. So now we have another marshal with ball in hand, that's number seven, Timodi. He has ball, can he get on the inside of his plays? Yes he can, ref's going to say no touch. So Fakatane stretched their lead out again, some beautiful offensive work by Fakatane. Yeah. Well played there. Let's get the quickie back on the outside. Big step back in. And the defensive middle from Waitara. They're 
um, which I think was Hannah Lee playing in that middle position for Waitara wasn't able to quite get there great recognition by Fakatane, and they go up to a 5-1 scoreline yeah and with both these teams getting wins earlier on this morning this one will be very important for where they want to end up come championship day tomorrow and Waitara just giving the ball away with an easy mistake there so Fakatane. They'll be looking to capitalise, take advantage of the situation. They're heading towards their box. They'll definitely get one male sub on. Some good yards by Fakatani. They're already deep inside of their attacking territory. Great yards there. We're seeing a bit of a lift and a shift in momentum here. Fakatani are starting to take a little bit of effect here. Looking for the quickie on the short side. Releases back to Brimsey Marshall just waits and draws out that defense you can see Waitara having pretty much been a straight line right now the referee Chris Baker just says you're not moving forward at a pace that we're comfortable with so penalty called Fakatane will get another opportunity down on the goal line as we get the touch not recognizing that quickly enough Waitara they were having a little conversation I think there the link in the wing and great recognition by Cole Scott taps the ball on the mark Straight through here we see on the replay, taps the ball, referee says play on, and sneaks one down in the corner. He does, as you can see, it was the link here from this wide to the side, just having a conversation with the referee, because I think she was the one that was getting pegged for being offside, and as soon as the ref caught it, I think she just wanted to clarify a few, a few things. But Fakatane picking up on that and taking advantage of the situation, and that's exactly what you need, especially a mix. We like to um, we like to get those mismatches. We like to work those uh, those blueies. So very good work by this Fakatani side to stretch the score out to six one. And the rain is still coming down, not at such a sharp angle. So that means the wind has died down a bit. Nice little scoop here by Waitara, but well defended by uh, the number three for Fakatani. Tahuri Kohunui. Yeah, Some and that was nice work, work, Hannah Lee, mm. just scooping through on the dummy half, almost breaking through there. So still opportunities down there, Waitara, they're just a little limited, not being able to get the flow through the field. So there's limited opportunities down there at the moment. But once they get down there, you certainly see that they do, do have the opportunity to score. As we see, Fakatane just moving the ball through over the halfway line slowly moving forward looking to draw that defense out it's a little bit far out here at the moment just getting good yards now starting to make some headway in close to that seven meter line gets the ball back pretty scott looking to draw the defense out at once again slowly moving out a little bit more urgency referees asking him to move forward still waiting pretty scott looking for the touch and the quickie dummy half picks releases to the link Ball is recount. It is. By the I referee. didn't think it was played at, but Fakatani will take it. I like I like the way Pretty Scott's moving. He's not just taking the touch. He's always looking for those extra couple yards. Yeah, just a little hand there. It's deflected the ball away from the Fakatani line, so gets another chance here. Looking for the quickie on the open side, releasing straight to the winger. First touch, Ooh. always a little bit iffy from my perspective anyway to run that first touch a little bit risky straight to the winger <laughs> yeah, yeah it is i'd like to see a, a play and a quickie and a dive just to set the oh set to be defense. young again young and daring grant yes probably the quickie dive now i'm more worried about the shoulder than anything <laughs> so maybe i will release to the winger as we see another dive in there from uh to Māori marshall certainly attacking this line they've got a couple of good little options Fakatane. As they just wait to draw that defensive line out again. Most important thing, they're getting this defense right and their dumps right on the seven meter line. So they're maximizing this as Pity Scott runs speed to the wing, feeds off. Winger dots down in the corner, just looking to try and pick up who that was there. But nice again, Pity Scott. Here's a release straight off the first first play of that set. And then here, Pity Scott eyes up, sees this mismatch two-on-one opportunity, releases to the winger. Great work there, Fakatane Josiah Kafi. Hope I pronounced that one right. And uh, Fakatane go through to a 7-1 scoreline. And like you said, that was just an eyes-up play. Pity Scott recognising that um, 
There's an opportunity for a bit of a gas on the outside here, and he man manages to do so. Draws in that winger enough to get the ball out to the winger. Great work. But again, Waitara with the early mistake, giving Fakatani some early ball. So here they are, touch three, already past halfway. That's three there. They're going to hit that side four. They'll be setting up for something, either a 32 or a 33 scoop here. Looks like they're going to pick the 32 with Brimsey Marshall. They have numbers out on their left. He goes short side, though, gets it out to his winger. Great pass there. Marshall again showing us his skill. And great catch there by Tahuri Kohunui just to finish off the play. Yeah, great eyes up here from Marshall. Looks could have had either option, I feel, there going open side or the short side. Mm. Picks that out. Great ball right on target into the chest of the winger to dot down. Fokatane looking nice and strong here, nice and settled, brimming with confidence, I'd say, right now. Yeah, they would be. Here they are, Waitara now. Only thing letting them down are their small mistakes. Things they know that they can fix and do better with. Nice extra pass there, just to gain a few extra metres. And they keep the roll forward going with a nice little quickie pass, unable to uh, convert it into a play, though. So here they try it again. We've got a scooper. Scooper gets touched, and the ref is going to call dummy half. So Fakatane now will be driving the ball from outside of their seven meter. They shift it pretty quick, quick outside to their link wing. You have a mo another middle driving that left edge, but there's going to be a mistake. Yeah, not square in the roll ball, oh. so just eyes are heading towards that sub box and didn't keep the body straight. I think there, so a little, little lack late in the game just to pick up on gives Waitara that chance. To get down on that goal line again, have another attack opportunity. As we look, get a nice dump right on that seven. Looking to get... I think that's Hannah Lee once again in and around there. Looks quickie and release. Going through, great dive in the corner. And the referee is just checking with the sideline referee. Touch was made. So coming back through again. We're fifth and final on the line. Looking to waste this one in the far corner. Preference would be to keep it alive and come back this way. Or oh, opportunity was there, but ball down. So just wanting to set their defensive line now. Waitara as Fokatane looked to head straight through. Looking for a nice subset here. Led by Brimsey Marshall. Nice yard starting to flow through here. Release into the middle to Pity Scott. Out to the link. Nice space open here for the Fokatane team. Releasing through, got their middle setups now. They'll look to drive nice and straight. Coming back to Pity Scott in the link. Just carefully eating up the meters here on the yards. No need to risk anything at the moment. They're looking pretty comfortable. Just setting up, I think, here. If I'll be right, having a few words of who's going to set this up. Releases quickly. Step back. Little pirouette 360. Haven't seen that one yet. But a great one to try down in the end. Might as well pull that one out now, see how you go. Yep, definitely, especially when you're trying to kill some time. He tries to come back, but just beautiful defence by Waitara. If I was defending against him, he probably would have scored that one. So, lucky they have better defenders in this blue side. Uh, but again, just another mistake. Touch and pass there by Waitara. So, Fakatani again will have another full set inside their attacking half. And they start off by shifting it to the mids here. No, they go out to their link. They've got numbers out on this left side. Can't you get it out? With the pace as well. Yeah, great eyes up for Katane. There was only five on the field for Waitara then, and they recognized that. Really took opportunity. And again on that wow. short side. And we have got clearance from the sideline referees. Touchdown again down in the far corner for Whakatane High. That's great eyes up touch there. Yeah, probably one of the things that Whakatane very, very good at. What you call eyes up touch, and that's just identifying where the players are so, so that you're knowing where the holes and the gaps are. Whakatane very good at that, and they managed to stretch their lead out. Something they definitely want to be doing leading into tomorrow being the championship day. Final day of play tomorrow for both these teams. Waitara now coming forward. Here, yeah, they're finally down on the seven. Holds up play a bit though. We have a drop, we have a quickie, but unable to hold on to the ball. 
Fakatani now. They'll be looking to bring it out from their half. We have a look back at this. I mean, it was well set up. Just maybe the communication. Oh, execution again. She gave him a target. Ball is a bit awry. So Fakatani now with the go forward. They've made it all the way the halfway. And that there is the hooter. This will be the last play. Final play. Grimsy Marshall looking to go in, out, around. He's got the space, looking to release. Touch ball in flight. It's still play on. Good handling here. Fakatane playing all eyes up everywhere. Not wanting to let the ball die. Intercept. And we have a final handover. There's a little bit of razzle-dazzle to finish off that one. I do. I think I like me a bit of eyes up touch. It's very, very fun. You never know what's going to happen. But Fakatane coming out with a bit of thunder in this game. Taking the game eight points to one. Waitara just unable to keep up with the relentless pace at which Fakatani were attacking. And the change in seasons that was happening here probably didn't help as well with the rain coming down and the wind picking up and dying off as well. Had to adjust. Fakatane did so today and they come out with the win. Hoya no, our next game coming up next is the boys section. Hamilton Boys High School. One of the powerhouses of New Zealand Touch going up against Whangarei Boys High. That game will start at 2.10, so keep it locked.